morning everyone we are back today with another video today we are going to be fitting some hella horns so big thank you to black yellow fez for gifting me these hence why they are bright yellow so these will be hidden today hopefully um as you know the horn on the fiesta isn't too great um my one sounds like it's got bloody herpes half of the time. If I'm honest, it's not too clever. It's, it's like... Ugh! So, recent times it's been a bit better. Um, just has its own mind, really. I'm not going to press the horn for the original just yet, because it is still quite early and I don't want to piss people off. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to get cracking on this, really. So, I'll meet you in the engine bay where we're going to be removing the front upper grill and the near side headlight so once i get some tools out and stuff like that we will be showing you the next point there okay so just did a bit of i found a coolant leak on that hose off camera so i'll just fix that that's nice and tight ready to go let's just trim it i thought i'd test out my new silicon hose cutters but that's not what we're here for today so let's get this grill out just put that up there to one side and where is it gone? Oh, for fuck's sake. Yes. <clears throat> Alright. So, you will have T20 torxes. Let me see. Um, that light has done nothing. You guys will probably have T20s, but I have little Phillipses. One there, one there, and one there. So, we'll pull them out need to get a correct size bit so I'll pull this lamp out you don't really need to see that and then uh, I'll show you what we need to do next all right so we've got the lamp out obviously when you do undo the three uh, screws you just got to press this little tab down pull the plug out and as you can see here is our horn only a little uh, single terminal so what I'm probably thinking is we remove this little thing, like so. Okay, for some reason the camera stopped recording, so I've unplugged the single terminal, and then I've just done the 8mm off the original horn. As you can see, there is a fair amount in size already, so this is going to be fun, trying to get this to work. So, what I'm thinking is, if we just pull the bracket off, and maybe just sort of... Put one there and then obviously use the bracket off another one maybe or double brackets and just sort of have one lay in there so I have to sort of figure something out or if not we could either have one coming in off the crash bar like upwards sort of thing from one of the bolts there um, not quite sure as of yet, but I'm sure we will figure something. So, there you have a little play with this, and then I'll show you what we've come up with. Okay, so that's what I've sort of come up with. 
and I'm hoping it should be okay because it doesn't really impede or rub on too much well it's, it's a tight fit 100% but it should do the do so what I've basically got to do now is splice into this earth here, Y shape off of it, so I can link the two together, and then I'll test it out, if it still doesn't work, and obviously I'll just go off the other terminal, because these are not polarited, so you can put the positive on any, any one, and then um, what I'll do is, I'll make an earth and just run it straight to um, one of these bolts here, or on, on the wing there, just to the body. So, hopefully should be done in quite a little while. All I had to do was just bore out this hole a little bit so that nut could fit. Um, and just use the two brackets. And I mean, once it's tight, it should be pretty solid, I hope. So I'm just going to tighten it all up, get it in position I want it to, and then uh, we'll show you somewhat what to do on the uh, wiring side of it. So it worked off camera, for some reason the camera just stopped. Um, so what we're going to do now is make another connection that goes to this horn here and then um, we'll just join them together and run them to an earth like underneath this bolt or something like that and then that should be the install done. So let's get cracking. Alright, changed my mind again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry but this is the final product. I've just tested it and it works. So positive still the same as it was as I showed you earlier um, but what I decided to do is obviously run two spay connectors from the horns on the negative straight piece obviously to a Y and then I just ran a wire all the way down to an earth that runs where it sits underneath my ECU so that's pretty much it and um, what I'll do is I'll just do a quick test for you. It is fairly loud to be fair. <coughs> that is really loud. <laughs> so um, yeah I think people are going to hear me um, getting the input um, quite a lot now. So quick recap on what we've done. Obviously we took the old horn off, single terminal and then a 10 mil nut, obviously. On the original bracket, I bored out the hole with a... I don't know what size that is, let me have a look. I did it with 10 mil and then had to go out a bit, so I'd say do it with a 12 mil. And then obviously, because of the single terminal horn setup, um, all I did was just cut the original plug off straight connector and added another hose in or hose another wire in and then joined the two horns together so i used the original plug on one horn which is just there and then teed off it and used another one on the other and then as for the negative i did the exact same thing two wires to the horns teed off and to an earth on the body wherever you fancy pretty much um, I'd probably say quite an easy install just make sure I, would... I was a bit stupid and didn't have a box of terminals normally i will just say go to Alfred's get like a multi-box of ring terminals and stuff like that just so if you do fuck any up you've got spares that's the only recommendation I can probably give you and just sort of take your time really it's quite a simple install uh, the kit does come with a relay so Obviously you didn't see me fit this because the car has a fuse and a relay fitted because on the box it has like a wiring diagram. The wiring diagram is for cars fitted, like classic cars before 1975, fitted without horns. You can use the original relay on this setup even if you have a single horn. Um, 
I can give you a wiring diagram which I found on the internet and that's what I followed and as you can tell it works great so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I'm just gonna box the car up off camera you don't need to see none of that crap um, but if you did want to fit hella horns you know that you can do them in a stand location if you don't want to want to show and there's plenty enough room if I just quickly show you I've been moving this about a bit um, I just need to tighten it but I mean when it's tightened it doesn't touch the bumper or anything so looks quite looks quite good to be fair sits in lovely i was quite worried because they're like double the size of the original but yeah if you like today's video please be sure to like comment subscribe for more content we have some big things coming to the channel soon hopefully you'll see it in the next week or two if you're lucky but yeah be sure to catch you in the next one peace